What is going on guys, welcome to Gump's videos, my name is indeed Kyle Gumper, and today I'll be reviewing Venom. And this is no surprise, for the longest time I've actually been very public on how I felt about this movie. The trailers look like trash, the CGI looks like trash, the visuals and the coloring looks like trash, the comedy looks like trash. Seeing a pattern here, so do I. I didn't want to watch the movie, but then my buddy said, hey, I'll hook you up. And I was like, fuck it. Not bad. Well... Not bad is a relative term to what I'm thinking. Is it a bad movie? Yes. Did I enjoy myself? Yes. I'm not one of these stingy fucking critics that, like, if it's not artsy, it doesn't have, a, like, a third meaning and, a, like, a fourth meaning hiding behind the characters and the story and what does the box mean? Like, if it doesn't have that, it's a failure as a story. No, I'm not one of those critics. I'm a, I'm a person that if I enjoy myself at a movie, which is a movie's core foundation of what it should be, some form of entertainment, and then I, I enjoy the movie. So I'm not going to fucking shit on the movie too much. The only reason why this movie is remotely decent, in my opinion, is because, or remotely passable decent, I want to call it, a, a passable movie is because of Venom and Eddie Brock. Those two literally save this movie from mass extinction and just torches being thrown at Sony. That's the only reason. Because in the second act, when those two really start talking and communicating with each other, it works. I like their back, their back and forth with each other. I enjoy that. And when Venom's on screen for like for like five minutes in the second act, I enjoy it for the most part. For the most part. That is the only reason like that this works is because of how good that interaction is between Venom and Eddie. Nothing else really works in this movie. If you got Venom wrong and Eddie wrong, but everything else right, this would have been a bad movie. It, it's just the truth. If you get your core character wrong, and the interactions with your core character, you're 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 fucked. But they got that right and everything else wrong. So on that end, it's a passable movie. Even though I I kind of enjoyed the first act, I was noticing it took way too long to get with Venom. It took way too long. It's just when it, when it finally happened, at that point we were already like 30, 40 minutes in. And I'm not saying the stuff beforehand was total garbage. I was, I enjoyed learning about Eddie. I enjoyed learning about Eddie, but everything else was just a snore fest. So Eddie kept that first act going, but everything else was just bland, boring, run of the mill, super cliche stuff going on. And uh, then the third act, whew, don't get me started with the third act. In fact, I kind of hated the third act because you had to, honestly, it's a trope, but there's a reason why it happens. When you have your your main villain and your hero fight, and the the hero loses, and then he gets a second chance for triumph against the villain, and then he wins. So they set up Venom as a loser on his planet, and Riot is a general of an army. So you're telling me, on his first encounter, right? On his first encounter, a loser is going to beat a general in a fight. And now people might say, well, it's because Eddie was more bonded with Venom than, you know, Riot and the other no-face douchebag. That's true. And p other people would be like, well, and also his girlfriend did help, or ex-girlfriend. That's also true. But there's no satisfaction there because it didn't feel, it didn't feel like it was earned. So when he finally beat him, the fight was, first off, the fight was atrocious, but the fight was only like five minutes. So the whole final fight was absolute tits. It was awful. And the CGI blob water effects, people and people keep telling me when I complained about that, they're like, well, what else are you going to do? Well, I'm like, first off, turn on the fucking light because you have Venom, a black symbiote, and a dark fight. And he's 100% CGI. You're asking for failure. I know it's cooler when it looks like, when it's at nighttime and shit like that. But like, if you want to do a true Venom, which they did, they made it CGI. Understandable. But it looks like fucking diapers. Just because you don't see another alternative doesn't mean it's, it gives it a pass. I just thought it looked like shit. 
I felt like they could have spent a little bit longer and a little bit more money on that final fight because that was bad. In the second act, Venom fights uh, soldiers, and they did a very smart thing by having the gunshots being the light source. That was really, really clever, and they use a lot of smoke, so you're not really seeing Venom 100%. So I thought that was a really, really intelligent way to hide Venom. If you if you know you can't make Venom look 100%, that's what you do. You gotta work around these things as a filmmaker. You don't just say, ah, the, the fans will ignore it. And a lot of fans are ignoring it, but as a filmmaker, you really shouldn't expect the fans to ignore it. And as I don't, I don't ignore it. I think it looked like shit. It looked better in the second act. The third act looked like... F it was just hard to follow, too. It was like... Everything was so zoomed in on the characters. Everything was so fast-paced and edited. Like, it was just tough. It was tough to watch. And the whole thing with Venom kissing Eddie... That was... Weird. Just say the least. I won't say you made me fucking kick and scream. I was just like... Okay. So as of right now, everyone has seen the end credit scene, so I'm not even going to throw a spoiler warning. I mean, I am reviewing this movie really, really late. <sighs> Carnage was always one of my favorite Spider-Man villains. It was Carnage, Venom, blah, 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 blah. And the reason why I like Carnage is because how brutal he was. So when I heard that he was going to be in the end credit scene, I was excited to see who they cast. I was like, don't tell me. Everyone's like, it's really good. He's a really good cast. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to say Woody Harrelson? Really? That's the thing that everyone's super psyched about? Everyone's like, oh, look, he's a good fit. No, the fuck he isn't. That's an awful choice. He, he's, first off, I think he's too old. And first off, I don't see Cletus. I see Woody Harrelson. I, I expect him to suit, shoot some fucking zombies, wear a cowboy hat, some stupid shit. And that wig looks so stupid. Stupid! What? Oh my god. I, that pissed me off in the movie theater. The more I soaked it up, the more angry I got. It's stupid. Horrible casting. I don't think he's going to give that vibe of true horror. I don't see that. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Enough about that stuff, guys. I'm going to rate this movie. I'm going to probably give it... I was going to give it a 3, but now I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Not a passing grade, but I... If, I'm just hanging out with buddies and my buddy hasn't seen it. He's interested. I will show him. But I'm just going to probably like snore during the, the third act because it's just that tough. I will watch the first act, but not the third act. The third act is just too awful for me. Uh, so 2.5 out of 5 stars, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Gums underscore videos. You can find me later for the latest news and updates on my channel, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that crap. Later. In the day.